guys welcome to qa automated this is anuja in this video we are going to learn about uh, weights uh, in selenium so implicit weight explicit weight and fluent weight in selenium so um, normally uh, when we load a web page so there is some uh, loading time in that and we have to wait for that particular time mostly people end up using thread.sleep which is not a reliable method and uh, we can uh, actually use bet better option instead of thread.wait which we are going to see now so uh, suppose if you are loading a page and you are, uh, if you want to uh, click on something but that element is not yet loaded then you get no matching element found exception uh, and our test case fails so using these kind of weights we can resolve that and our test case will not fail due to the weight conditions uh, first of all we will uh, learn implicit weight uh, what is implicit weight implicit weight is used when you know exactly uh, uh, how much time you have to wait like at least approximately you should know like it will take 10 seconds it will take 10 20 seconds then you can use this uh, so here uh, i have used the same example which we used last time to uh, load the web page so after we uh, navigate to the uh, qaautomated.com this url given here then we add a wait so we want to wait for some time so that we can view the page completely so what we are using here is implicitly weight and in this implicitly weight we are giving this is time and this is time unit so time unit can be seconds minutes hours days whatever you want and this is uh, the number that is 10 seconds so this way you can use implicitly way uh, it is simple to use but even if after set 10 seconds the element doesn't come then you will get uh, no matching element found exception so next we will see explicit weight explicit weight is used when uh, you have you don't know exactly how much time it will take it might load up in two seconds or it might take up to 10 seconds in that case unnecessarily you don't want to wait until 10 seconds if the page is already loaded in two seconds so the, in that case we have we can give a condition so explicit weight we can give a, a one condition plus we can give specific waiting time till that condition occurs okay so here we have seen we are navigating to this uh, website after that we want to we know maximum it might take 20 seconds or it will uh, means or, or i am checking for this condition so if this condition satisfied within two seconds also then it will not wait for 20 seconds completely it will come out of the wait so first we will give wait and unit this is in second uh, then if we give wait dot until and here we get expected condition what is the condition is I am checking that about me menu is uh, appearing in the ma uh, main web page and that means my page is loaded and then I click on about me so this is how we can use explicit weight let us move on to the next way that is fluent weight a uh, fluent weight is also very interesting feature of selenium and it is also a very useful feature so in this case we can give a condition we can give a, a specific time period for on which we want to check our condition but apart from this third parameter we can give is the frequency is a frequency after uh, frequency after which we want to check for that particular condition and for that particular time period so let me clarify this so suppose uh, our, we have set a uh, time period uh, as a 20 seconds so check this example so time duration what we have set is 20 seconds we have our condition as well we have given that uh, check if the element about me is uh, you know uh, visible or not okay and then we have given this polling every five second that is polling every five seconds that means that is our frequency so how it will work it will work is for first 20 seconds it will check if about me is loaded or not is it it is visible or not 
after that even if it is not visible in that first 20 seconds then it will wait for 5 seconds then again it will start its timer to 0 to 20 seconds and it will check for this condition until we get the about me page so it is kind of it will work in a loop it is the loop will start after every 5 seconds the loop will be open till 20 seconds to check the condition so this uh, where you can use this is suppose um, there are kind of ads shown uh, so ad shown in between and you know on the frequency of which the ad is shown and you want to click close on that ad or that pop up uh, then in that case it is very useful anyways uh, you can also come up with scenarios where it will be more useful so I, rec uh, I recommend you to uh, you know try this out try this weight in your test cases it is very uh, you know very uh, uh, proper way to use weight don't use thread dot sleep hence forward use these three types of weight to improve quality of your test cases and uh, you know your test failure rate will decrease uh, a lot so thank you for watching this uh, video if you have any questions comments anything you can write in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss the next coming up videos and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up thank you